It's a wonderful year, 2022. And we're starting this year off with Representative Wendell Gilliard and Charlton Singleton. And my first guest, State House Representative Wendell Gilliard. And we're going to talk about the MLK Picture Award. Welcome, Representative Gilliard, back to Bounce Around Charleston for a brand new year. Hallelujah. You got that right, brother. It's always good to be here. <laughs> Well, we, we welcome you to Bounce Around Charleston, and we want to talk about that wonderful event that you're always having every year, honoring the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King and it's the Picture Award. Tell us about it. Well, definitely, uh, and we want to thank you for being there since the inception uh, of this most valued now program here in the state of South Carolina. Uh, we really appreciate you and your staff. Uh, for sticking in the, you're a cornerstone of this movement. <laughs> <laughs> We're very solid, you and the family of Channel 5. But definitely, you know, when I started this out, it was just an idea that I had while serving on city council, as you well know. Uh, at, and at the MLK breakfast, the first thing I observed, I said, that's good that we're recognizing people of stature. You, you know what I mean? And that's good uh, to be recognized if you're a scientist, a doctor, a lawyer, etc. All that's good and fine. But when you study the history of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you, you, you will find out that he was inclusive in his yes. movement by creating the SCLC. And, his, and he always put his emphasis on caring about the voiceless, recognizing those people who are not recognized throughout this country and in the world. And that brought me to mind, uh, as you well know, in our city right here, very historic city, Charleston, which we all love, uh, we have great people doing great things. Now, they might not be doctors or lawyers. You know, through the years, the MLK program, and we're in our 20, this will be the 24th annual MLK Picture Award. I'm very proud to say that. Wow. Through, through the years, Reverend Miller, uh, with your help, we've been recognizing our custodians here in the city, whether they're in the medical profession, high school profession, whatever they might be. But the custodians was always the top of our list. Even uh, people such as the street guard crossings, and the people who every day see the, you know, our relatives, the students here, the children everywhere get to, from home to school safe, okay? It's people like that that this program has been recognizing and keeping with the philosophy of the great late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And for that, we're very grateful. You've been doing this for 24 years. <laughs> and there are so many who have people who have been honored. Have you ever heard back from any of the folk who were recognized? Well, definitely, you know, a lot of people, uh, whether they were part of our volunteers, uh, schools, uh, whether they were re recipients, they would always look back and send letters, emails, even to this day. About I think it was about two weeks ago, I had a young lady that we had recognized at Burke High School, the Muddy Burke High School, uh, for her efforts in academics. She looked back and, and she gave me a big hug, saw her on King Street down there, and she thanked <laughs> us. And she told me that uh, the MLK Picture Award uh, is one of the things in her life that had motivated her to help others, not to forget where she came from. I was very proud of that. And knowing that she was from Bob. <laughs> but, <laughs> <tell me, laughs> <laughs> but tell me something. How are these individuals recognized? How, how are they recognized? First off, uh, one, and let me tell you about two of the criteria first. Those are the people who are seen as unsung heroes. Uh, you know, those are the people that are giving their all. You ever heard that old uh, cliche, all gave some and some gave all? Well, mm -hmm. they, they fit that category, and we should be proud to bring people forward like that because we see them as a light, a guiding light uh, to engage our community, no matter what creed, no matter what color, no matter what age. As we check their backgrounds and we find out to say, you know, things like, you know, we need to try to recognize this person for what he or she has done and is still doing in our community. You know, motivating people, inspiring people, educating people. Those are the, some of the categories that we look at inside people that they have that type of character. 
that fits that mold and we bring them out and we recognize them. Yeah. Now, and you give them a, a big picture of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, huh? Very valuable picture. Uh, uh, and eloquently framed from Fantastic. We were dealing with them since day one. Uh, we want to thank them for hanging with us. But it would not be made possible uh, if not we're, if we didn't have sponsors. Uh, you know, companies such as Boeing, Dominion. Uh, you know, I could name the list. Michael Bennett. You know, it, the list goes on and on. The city of Charleston, the city of North Charleston. Uh, they were there from day one sponsoring this effort. I can remember the day that I went in Mayor Rowley's office and told him about my idea. He told me to go ahead and run with it. And I was very proud of that because it's lasted to this day, recognizing many people who've gone above and beyond the call of duty in our, not only Charleston County, but throughout the state of South Carolina, I should say. Well, I guess during this pandemic, this year will be virtual. Yes, and I'm glad you brought that up uh, because it brings me to this point, uh, Reverend Miller, uh, that, you know, yeah, by virtue of the pandemic, first recognizing all those people who've lost their lives and the people who've given us to this day their services. And that brings us into the medical community. Mm. This, this year, we've involved nurses, uh, educators, and custodians. Uh, people who are definitely putting their lives on the line. I mean, right here in the great state of South Carolina, we've had teachers. Uh, we've heard the stories uh, that have died uh, from this educated while educating our children. So we, we want to remember these people this year. So I'm glad you asked that question. So it'll be a virtual show. When, uh, what, what, when will this happen? It will definitely be, take place in the last week of this month, Okay. And we're fortunate that to have Ann McGill, uh, who will be hosting this year, as you well know. Uh, and we're very thankful for her uh, through the years of her service that she's followed us and helped us with this most important uh, program. So we're, we're very thankful for that. Okay, but well, we're looking forward to another wonderful year with the MLK Picture Award. And this year we will be virtual because of the pandemic and we want everyone to be safe. Am I correct? You are so correct. Uh, this right here, the, the mask, you know, wear it. Uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, <laughs> these things here are literally saving lives in the state of South Carolina, and we ought to be proud of that, okay? Okay. We thank you for telling us about the MLK Award. Is there anything else you want to share with us while we have you on here? Well, there you go with another million-dollar question, uh, and I'll give you a twenty-dollar answer. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. Okay, it's it's the hate crime bill. Uh, as you well know, it, it had a historical event uh, in the year 2021 because it actually passed the House. It, it's now it went. It's in the Senate. It will be it heard this month here. Okay, so we want to encourage everybody to please get behind my effort, my team effort on House Bill 3620. Uh, we have also got it named after the great late Clemente, Senator Clemente Pinckney, as you well know, good friend of yours and mine. Uh, the bill is named after him now, and we reference that bill after his name now, for his name's sake. So we want everybody to call their state senators, tell them to get behind House Bill 3620, the Senator Clemente Pinckney hate crime bill. Okay, this is so important. I, be, I believe the least that we could do is make this come to fruition, honoring our, our late great senator, honoring the other eight people who lost their lives, honoring the people uh, who was in that service that made it up to the day. Okay, we want to we want to do this in respect and showing our love for them. Because as I said earlier, Rev, uh, Reverend Miller, all gave some and some gave all. We need that hate crime bill to become law in the state of South Carolina. Thank you, State Representative Wendell Gilliard, for sharing with us today about the MLK Picture Award and the hate crime bill 3620. Thank you for all that you do. And thank you for being on Bounce Around Charleston. And thank God for our health care workers. Okay, you've heard it right here on Bounce Around Charleston. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs>